tonight at 11. Understaffed or underscheduled? That's the question some are asking the Licking County Fire Department when it was unable to respond to calls for most of last weekend. It happened at the St. Albans Township Fire Department. A scary reality for those who rely on uh, this agency to help in case of an emergency. NBC4 Sean Lanier spoke with the fire chief tonight who explains why this happened. And Sean, should the residents there, should they be worried? No, the residents should not be worried because this is something this fire department deals with regularly. It comes down to attempting to schedule part-time workers who have other jobs. The chief told me that the decisions, the department's decision to go out of service this weekend was the best thing to do for the community. It's a kind of a perfect storm. For 57 hours out of a 71 hour time period, the St. Albans Township Fire Department was out of service this past weekend due to a handful of circumstances. Last week I happened to be out of town and uh, the assistant chief decided to resign and kind of put us uh, behind the eight ball. According to the fire chief, the department operates with part time workers. Many work full time at other departments, which is their main priority. When both of the schedules conflict with one another, this fire department is left short. When that happens, it leaves a hole in our staffing here. Not being in a position where we can mandate staff, often, oftentimes we end up being uh, understaffed. This happened this past weekend. The solution was to immediately put the station out of service. That allowed other area fire departments to make the runs for them with very minimal delays to their residents. The community's protection is, is our number one priority. And the chief's hoping that this problem could happen again because it's difficult to schedule those part-time workers who have other full-time jobs with such short notice. But residents won't see a difference because when it happens, other fire departments in that area will have to step in. Live at the Watch for Alert desk, Sean Lanier, NBC4. Thank you, Sean. We're getting our first look.